What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Prolif Cube. I try to look for, like, the broken cards. I'm like, what cards combo really well? Colonial Hydra seems bananas. Uh, Cap is white. So, what we're talking about is, for this week's Freshly Brewed podcast, Rob and I are going to design three Marvel Magic cards. Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Captain America. And we're kind of talking about how they would be done. And we're talking about how uh, Cap would be white and red. Obviously, red, white, and blue is American. But, like, Cap has no connection magically to blue. There's no blue uh, qualities in Captain America. I, I think he would be white because of law and justice. And I think he would be red because of passion and fervor. Um, obviously, no connection to black, no connection to green, no connection to blue. I want to take this guy. I don't want to talk about this too much, though, because I really don't want to... My, my, I don't want my designs to be too heavily influenced. But I would love to talk about this after we do the podcast and after I come up with the cards myself. Parting Thoughts is the second best card in the cube. That's interesting. That is interesting. I think Marin of Clan Neltov is actually bananas. Yeah, definitely taking Marin here. Oh, Nissa. Is this good? Untap the target land you control and have it become a 3 3 elemental with haste and menace to the land. <laughs> I think this is actually pretty good, right? This is actually fine. I mean, especially if we're already in these colors. Ooh, Jade Light Ranger seems great. Choose two creature cards in your graveyard. Sacrifice creature, return them both to the to the battlefield. I'm going to take Jade Light Ranger. I think it's just fairly strong. Malicious Affliction seems fine. I mean, if we're... And if we're yeah, this seems fine. Wolverine pre or post that a man team like always post. Uh, essentially, Wolverine, Wolverine isn't a character post pre adamantium. I, I think that's just like exposition wise, he's a character, but like no one gives a shit about pre adamantium Wolverine. Should be an artifact creature. Oh man, that would be kind of cool. I don't think Phyrexian mana would be fitting because that, that implies like you're imbued with Phyrex like like uh, Phyrexian oil what is it like what's the is there a thing that like Phyrexian oil imply like Phyre Phyrexian mana implies sack a creature each opponent loses and gains sure drain I think it's just primal might for one mana this is just a prey upon I also like where this draft is going right now I think we have a uh, very versatile card Three very strong cards here. Removal, two removal spells. Yeah, but you can see from like the chat right now, that there's so many directions you can take in like designing your own cards, especially if they have flavor and history to them, as as illustrious as like Marvel characters do. Steelbane Hydra actually seems fine. It's kind of expensive, but like I don't want to take Phylath here because if we're going to three colors, the odds of us having that many basics is not super high. Oh wow, I was gonna take it anyway. See, now you gotta be careful. You gotta really keep your eyes peeled for this for this new client where they haven't fixed it yet. So I don't think Spider Man taps. What I was thinking of Spider Man doing is detaining. Uh, Malira seems fine. It's probably the only card I would actually consider, and I like having more two drops because having early threats uh, has been kind of an issue. I actually kind of like first I in games. <clears throat> yeah, I don't care about the brawler. Yeah, I'll just take the, the games. This felt this cube has felt a little too too defined by walkers to me. Anyone else? Um, I haven't seen that many walkers, and the ones I have, I like. They were like, um. Angrath, you know. So I could see because of that, like maybe that there's a ton of value placed on them. 
Are there persist cards in this? Yeah, for sure. I'll just take Vault Scourge, because if we can actually put some counters on a Vault Scourge, it seems pretty good. We can also get it back with Marin. I'm just taking Mearsire. It's still a creature we can get back with Marin. We can do lots of shenanigans with it. There's a lot of red cards. There's a lot of red a lot of red white cards here, guys. <laughs> Arid Mesa, you don't get us anything yet. Deep Forest Hermit just seems good. Yeah, I think it's just Deep Forest Hermit. The only card I could, I could I would really consider would be like Colony Heart Expedition, but let's Hermit it up. See, again, Batman wouldn't be... Well, maybe Batman would be blue-black, actually. Ironically, like, blue does kind of fit Batman because he is secretive and, and knowledge-based. That's, that's interesting. I really dislike characters like being associated in magic to their to their actual like costume colors but yeah i think esper would probably be better for batman oh dr doom would, would be blue black for sure oh this nissa seems good parallax dementia enchanted creature it gets plus plus three plus two a fading one uh that seems ter what is this just a bad combat trick Oh, I guess you can play it on their guy, and then it dies. Yeheni's good. I think Nissa might be better than Yeheni. Like, again, being able to just make a bunch of... What does Lifeblood Hydra do? Gets counters. When it dies, you gain life and draw cards. You go to power. It's a little expensive. I think we figured that out the last time. I like Biogenic Ooze. I do like Flesh Carver a lot. Oh, actually, that's correct, Love and Crafty. Yes, blue would be correct, but black does not seem correct. Yeah, I, I can't see any black in Batman, actually. Batman doesn't kill. Batman doesn't have evil. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Again, it's a situation where the black, the blue-black is not correct simply because that's his costume color. Whenever this evolves, put one kind of each creature you control with the plus. Actually, that does seem pretty good. Yeah, that's probably better than Flesh Carver. Jangu Yangu. Jang Jang Yangu. No no you after the first. Twilight Mire actually seems fine for us. Uh whenever an answer if this says five or more counters, he gets lifelink. There's no clerics though, right? Like Yeah, I'm just going to take the Twilight Mire. I I'd like at least one... Oh, Verdant Catacomb. How sweet. Executioner's Capsule too, but I I'd rather have a fixing than a, than a second, than another removal. Alright, this battle is ready in 12 minutes. We have 63 allies for a very easy one. It doesn't seem... Look, guys, here's Glistening Oil. Exactly what we were talking about. Quest of the Grave Lord. It's whenever a creature dies. Hmm, that might not be terrible. My problem with cards like this is you want to like it, it like uh, you want to encourage proliferating and things, but like no matter how much you proliferate, you're only getting one zombie out of this. I'm almost tempted to like splash for Alendra or something, or Basri's Lieutenant, which is also very good. 
I want to take Basri's Lieutenant. I don't know what we're, we can we can get. Beastbreaker of Balagat is pretty solid. Graven Cairns. I want to take Ruinous Path. Oh, actually, Knight of Autumn seems good, too. Huh. Especially because we have Basri and we can easily splash if we find any sort of... Like, we have Verdant Catacombs, so a Temple, Gar Temple Garden or a Savannah is nice. I'll take Runa's Oh, Vish Call. Again, goes to uh to that White Splash. Taiga? I'll take the... Actually, Banishing Light, White Splash. Sure. Seventy-three allies on this board. Flesh Carver came back. That's kind of cool. I would take the Lifeblood Hydra. We don't even have any ramp, but like Flesh Carver Hydra with with Nissa putting counters on all our things, or like with Renegade Crassus. That's that's pretty good. Man, I really appreciate all you guys uh, joining us in the stream raiders stream raiders battles. Even this guy's not terrible. Oh, Alendra came back? Wow, if we can play Alendra, Basri, and Vish call, I think this deck seems pretty sweet. Like, if we had Vish, Alendra, and Basri, like, that actually makes our curve look real sweet. Bloodstained Mire. You don't get anything yet. Hmm... Oh, we also have Banishing Light, too. Sphere of the Suns is good. Blood Artist also could be good. Incubation Druid is nice, but it can't fix for white if we don't actually have white. There's actually no command for Stream Raiders, which is super weird. Um, I'll have to add one. I'm, I don't know why it's not... I don't, they didn't give me one to add. You guys can keep adding, checking, but there's none, there's none that exists. Uh, I don't really care about Wicker Ball Alder because we do have um, Steelbane Hydra already. I kind of like Sphere here. Oh, Draga Tree Speaker is interesting. Huh. The one one counter for each other creature you control with the one one counter on it. That guy could be huge. I put on pants for the first time in eight months. Oh, man. We found the command. Oh, battle is... Yes, battle is a command. Is it tree speaker or is it meant... It's got to be tree speaker, right? Wooded Bastion. Okay. That along with sphere...
it's probably just cast out. I can see us playing these cards now. I also don't think... Actually, no, we don't. I don't think I want Long Tusk Cub just because we don't have a ton of energy. Oracle of Nihilia, what does this do? Search for two basics? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I just want one more fixing that's not like a Tendo Ice Bridge. Ooh, Mothra Supersonic Queen. Supersonic Queen. I once went for two years wearing only shorts to work. It's wild. It gets cold some days. I don't know how you manage that. I'm taking the Mothra. I don't know if like we're going to get any other White Land-esque cards. Yeah, I'll take Battle Priest. This is also 24 cards. Like, we could easily cut the white and add, like... Oh, nothing else. I guess we're definitely playing white, guys. These cards are exciting. Astral Cornucopia. It's kind of like a Coalition Relic, right? Maybe. I'll take Gouldra's Assassin. That guy's actually pretty decent. If one or more more encounters you put on a creature you control, put that many plus one. It just seems really good. If we're not playing the white, this is definitely better. If we are playing the white, this is very good. I think we're just taking this guy. I have two assassins now. Oh, the cub came back. The cub came back. I think the white is definitely good enough to play, especially with, uh... uh Valor Stance came back. That's kind of cool. Uh, especially with... I'm gonna take Mirror Sire out. That guy's not super exciting. I was also thinking of taking Affliction out, because it's double black. And if we're splashing, it seems harder. Um... I also have Banishing Light. Guys, we have 96 guys in this battle, so I'm just gonna... We're going to do that, and I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we'll start a new one. One, two, three, four. We have like six, six creatures that can come down before turn two, which seems decent. I like Assassin, too. Um, all of these are good. All of these are good. I think we can probably board in the Steelbane Hydra. And this is a solid 23. I wish Verdant Catacombs got a white, but we also have Wooded Bastion, Sphere of the Suns, and Ordeal of Nylia. Nothing costs more than one white, so... Three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, this seems this seems correct. We have a significant amount of every all of our black is one except for ruinous path. Yeah, I think this is what we're going with here. We found out.
Oui. What do you think of the epics? I don't know what that means. What epics? This hand is great if we hit like one land. And we're on the draw. I'm going to risk it. Like playing this guy into ordeal and then hitting lands on the next turn seems good. But here we are. No, don't know. I've... Okay, thank goodness. I almost like F6 my turn there. Didn't play my Cervantes of the scale. I hear you knocking. Well, we did hit another land. So now I'm just going to play this guy. Perthing pod. Well, that's... That's nice. Isn't that cute? All right. All right. <sighs> got to do what you got to do. In two more turns, we can get some lands if nothing happens to this guy. Tapped. Dang it. Okay. Okie dokie. Is there a 13 already? Oh, they played four for pod and they took three? So they get a three drop here. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Jukebox. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're definitely going to Primal Might this dude next turn and kill it if they don't have an answer for our Beast Breaker of Balagid. I don't know what they're doing. They're tapping a land. Untapping a land. Tapping a land. Untapping a land. Yeah, no blocks. I take it to those, huh? Interesting. Interesting. So we can play Nissa here, double the number of counters on Beast Breaker, and then trigger it to hit lands so that we have lands next turn. Nissa will die. Or we can Primal Might the Voral, which gives them fewer birthing pod targets. But they were playing around, I don't know if they have in hand, is the problem. I think this is better at this juncture. Like, I just want to be able to hit the lands. I mean, Fightless is swinging, but also, so does Beast Breaker by itself. It'll be a 4 4 when it attacks, thanks to the ordeal. And we do get the trigger now. Oh, uh, I still got to sacrifice this, right? No, I get actually absolutely fucked. Amazing. I mean, if we primal might it'd be also be just terrible anyway, so... 
That's really obnoxious. I feel like that one play just defined the whole game. Like, not only... We're still mana screwed. Uh, they have a 5-6 flyer. And there's, like, basically nothing in our hand that's any good right now. So... <laughs> just, like, don't even have any answer to this thing. And they can just double it again. I mean, it's only turn five. We've only missed two land drops. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, seems good. I don't know why you wouldn't attack with Winding Constrictor there, but... Yep. Like, none of these matter, right? Like, this is just going to kill us next turn. And we have one turn to draw the cards. This is going to go to wink of 1-1, one, one, put three counters, but we're not going to draw the cards until two turns. So it's like... Like, none of the cards in our hand actually do anything against this stupid bird. Sphere and a Ruinous Path could have done something, but we still would have been at one, and they still... Ugh... I mean, I was excited about Servant because of Renegade Crassus, because of Colonian Hydra, because of proliferating onto it. But uh, it just doesn't seem good enough. I don't know, man. This hand seems great. It's almost like when you have lands and spells that you can cast. Uh... My first hurricane in like 10 years? How is that even possible? Oh my god. Um, I want to play this so we can go Marin on the next turn, which I think is better than Beast Breaker. Well, you just don't cut it for 10 years. It's pretty self-explanatory, I thought. Wow. Did you vote yet? Man, that's is that, you're the third person. Yeah, you're the third person who's asked me that. That's kind of funny. You're actually at least the third person. I don't know if I missed any. To answer the question again, I have not voted. I'm waiting for my ballot. Jukebox, baby. I hear you what is the song I'm singing? I don't know. Mm. 
the Marin Mirror match. That's... Uh, oh, that's actually kind of sick. Wow, that's really good. Oh god, please don't say some of us voted two or three times. Good grief. Excuse me. I hear you knocking. Look at all these things they're doing. So they're gonna have one card in hand after whatever they do here. Yep. Sure. Man, it's pretty awesome having creatures in your graveyard with Voral. I mean, we can just try to kill things every turn. I mean, they can get Voral back, but, like, they can only do it once a turn. Yep. Wow. Seems amazing. <laughs> kind of fucking ridiculous. Oh, Lord. Did I miss a part of pod where it makes sense in a proliferate cube? No, not really. Yep. Well, one, they're both five sixes, which is super cool because this guy deal with negative four, negative four, and they're five okay yeah that's cool that seems good um yeah i have a really good hand that can do lots of things meanwhile they birthing pot a creature every turn and then get two creatures back that's very manageable Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can play two of these or Beast Breaker and put a counter on it. Adam, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Look on the bright side. Okay. Yeah, they'll eventually run out of creatures in the yard to bring back. Ah. Oh. Well, when that happens, they can just bring back Endless One endlessly. 
And then eventually they'll have like 10 experience counters so they can bring back their biggest creature every single turn. And, um, you know, that's, that's cool. Well, that's not what we want to do. Uh, double green. Oh, did I miss? Did I miscount? Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I miscounted because I'm a big, stupid idiot. Yep, now I gotta waste the last counter on here. Yeah, this guy would have just been better to have out. Sure. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, it just prevents them from activating Voral, but... That's the strongest energy of cards. Yeah, I mean, it's almost amazing to get double Marin in play and uh, along with the Birthing Pod and along with the Voral and Origin. Like, I don't know. It just seems really good. Yep. Birthing Pod, your cub. Get two more experience counters. Oh, only, only at nine. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now you can play your land, flip it, get a Planeswalker... <clears throat> oh, they're both coming at Nissa, huh? Okay. Joke's on you. Now I got two counters, too. <laughs> oh, what's that? You get two creatures back again? Oh, that sounds good. Good for you, man. Good for you. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That's the ticket. Killing Voral every turn. <laughs> totally reasonable. Unfortunately, you can only level up on their turn as well, so I can't even use this mana. More like Endless Zero, am I right? I think you might be correct, yeah. Oh, look at Baleful Strix. <laughs> Fucking quality cards, man. Oh, boy. This is a this is a deck right here, man. They have 17 experience counters just for those keeping track at home. Beautiful. Three, four on two, two. Actually, can we just kill one of their Marins? But I guess they get it. No, they can't get. They can't. If they if we kill the actual Marin, they can't. Yes, they can. This Marin would get back this Marin. And if we kill this Marin, it gets back the Spark Double. Yep. So that's like they're basically immune to. Uh, to either you have to kill either both of their Marins or none of their Marins, so that's kind of cool. I mean, she's gonna die anyway, so I might as well just make the best of it.
battle is now ready. 118 allies seems ridiculous. So, yep. I'm sorry. How did our how did our Marin die? Oh, it didn't. Okay, I'm just like what. Like I, I don't even actually don't know why we're playing this game still, but you know, maybe we'll get somewhere. Man, malicious affliction would be fucking OP right now. Kill both the Marins. Pretty sure it's in the sideboard. Cool. Oh, it's also non-black, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so it actually is fucking hot trash. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. Let's go to the next game. And by that I mean match, because this one was hot shit. Alright. I'm in a tree with my bow. <laughs> like you do. Sammy, I don't even think there are any trees in this battlefield. Either way. Sure. You know what? I'll keep it. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, it's a low of 34 degrees. It looked like a tree. I don't see anything on the board. The, the board is literally... Oh, wait, maybe these are... Oh, I see. Oh, there's like little cactuses things. Okay, I see what you're saying. No, you might be right, Sammy. Don't be hard on yourself. It's fifty-seven involved. How many? How many? How many echoes responded? Fifty-seven seems nice. Thirty seems chilly. Fifty is like, oh, that's that's crisp. That's a nice crisp temperature. Well, that card scares the shit out of me. Oh, that's true. The wind is rough. Yeah. The wind is definitely a, a chiller. Okay. <sighs> An eye roll. Everyone always has the amazing combos. I'm like, Flesh Carver. And they're like, alright, I don't give a shit. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, next turn they only have seven mana. So they can cast a six drop green creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and double those counters. Watch them play Colonia Hydra. Here we go. 
They're gonna play their own. It's gonna be eight eight. Cool. Let's go do 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 do. Bird of Paradise. This late in the game? Oh wow. This is each green creature, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. Huh. Oh yeah, come in with that guy, please. I dare you. I would have made a personally I would have made a token and then put a counter on the on the token and the bird. Sure. Land? Marin? Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can pump this. And Marin, or we can play Marin, sack Beast Breaker. Put two counters on Flesh Carver. That doesn't do anything. Oh, I don't have black here. I'm not good at mana. Uh, black, green. Use the green. One, two. Oh, I guess we can just kill Nissa here. That seems fine, right? <laughs> People just shout Xbox turn off. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Hilarious. I forgot we just get guys back into our hand if we don't have the experience counters. Oh my god, this card is so good. I definitely need one of these for the cube. Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Was that 6-6? Six, six? God damn. That's a big boy. It's okay, guys. We're only taking eight here. That's a totally reasonable amount. I mean, they kill Marin here, right? Is this a decent trade? God, I don't think so, man. Gets it off the board? Like, we go to six. We're dead to this stupid bird. I think we have to do it. I don't like it, but... Yep, obviously. Obviously. Make sure you use your Orin Reef. Yep. Perfect draws. These games are amazing. Like, I feel like I'm not even in... Like, I feel like I'm not even playing Magic. Like, I feel like they're drafting constructed decks, and I'm just drafting bullshit limited decks, and it's pretty wild. Yep, yeah, that's gonna do it. So we go to two here from this guy, huh? Three, actually we go to one because this is gonna put a counter on it. That definitely doesn't, I mean, I like, I like PlayStation more than Xbox as well, but I don't think that's a reason why it's better. Yep, just gonna pass. We have to literally block both the Orin Reef and the Incubation Druid here if we wanna survive. And they still have two cards. They still have more cards than us as well. I don't know, man. This is freaking wild. This entire cube has been a shit show for me so far. So we got 5-5, five, 5-6, five, 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 7 
Hey, shut up. Hey, shut up. I'm making fun of Michael. Alright, I mean, that's again what we figured would happen. Seems good. Seems terrible. Alright, that was a fun match. Game. Thing. Blowout. Fucking bloodbath. Massacre. Whatever you want to call it. Bringing Affliction in, taking this guy out, bringing Ghouls or Assassin in. I mean, we've so far had no problems with mana. It's just a matter of, like, drawing cards that matter. I almost kind of want, like, cast out just because it's another way to deal with these. Like, we haven't drawn Banishing Light. We haven't drawn Ruinous Path. <clears throat> Valor stands in, it seems good. I'll just play 41, fuck it. Yep, I'll keep this because we have a removal spell and any black land lets us play Nissa at the very least. And before mana, I mean, like, I wouldn't say our mana screwed here. Yeah, I guess we'd be mana screwed if we don't hit a third land. Or fourth land. How about turn, let's draw, let's draw a turn two, three drop. No, I want a two drop. And then just land, 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 land. What is my favorite console? I mean, in li in ever? Ever would probably be Dreamcast. Currently would probably be PlayStation of, of whatever variety you wanna, you wanna choose. Super Nintendo and Dreamcast, Super NES and Dreamcast are my two favorite consoles ever, I would say. And they had the largest impact on my, <clears throat> my gaming interests. Okay, well. Okay, well, we have a turn. If we can hit land, land, I feel like we're actually in great shape here, but they get to do a thing. 1-1, one, one, Slith. Oh, yeah, that's... That guy will be good, I assume. Land? Come on. You know I've earned it. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. So if we play Nissa, she goes up to five. Slith can only deal one. So it goes down. She goes down to four. I think that's actually fine, because it also lets us ramp next turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Get in there. Oh, they just went face? Deal. The sight of your face is more refreshing than a pastrami sandwich on a hot summer's... <laughs> what? Well, so I... Okay. You know what? Sure. I'll give you that. Okay. 
I appreciate it. Oh, another Nissa. Well, no land though, so we're really stuck. We can ruin his path something. <sighs> Do we just play Hermit here? Or Hydra? A Pastrama Sammy. Uh, no. Hermarino. Hermarino seems good here. And if they have a way to kill it, we could get it back with Nissa with two counters on it? Shoot. I will not block. Man, this dude, they don't even care about Nissa here? What's going on? Alright, sure. You got it. Draw your cards. Draw your little crads. Um, one, two, three. So we're probably playing that and then trying to play Nissa afterwards. So we're gonna go, wait, wait. Black. Jade Light. Come on, we gotta hit one land here, right? Graveyard. Nope, didn't hit a land. Super cool. <laughs> Super, super, super duper, duper cool. Super dual, dual, dual cool. Because then if we were able to untap with Nyssa, then we could play Nyssa and then put counters on all our things and have quite a formidable attack. But, um, you know, four lands looked at uh, 14 cards. That's a ratio that makes sense. That is a ratio. Oh, remember me. Dun, dun, Hello, Wallace. Hello. Oh, God, look who it is. Biggest shit pickle in the land. You got damn right I am. Wow. Wear a pride. <laughs> what? You, you got green? What you, you got yellow? What? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Is that what you I said? Was, never mind. Don't worry about it. What are you being? What are you pervert? Were you some kind of pervert, Michael? No, I was making a joke about. What's a what joke? You said. Oh look, guys, the 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 turn that everything came together for our opponent. Michael, what are you wearing? Banana meme shirt. A banana meme shirt? Yeah. It's literally a meme shirt. I can always tell when you've just oh, come yep. up the stairs because. Can't see it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> just this guy again? I don't understand these attacks, man. I guess I do. I feel like you should have killed Nissa like four turns ago. Hmm. You okay? No, I'm just stupid. But I am okay. All right. Well, that's. Hey guys, look another no land. That's amazing. Fifteen cards, four lands. Totally amazing. Absolutely incredible. Well, super fits over here. He messed up again. <clears throat> no, he's at work. He works today. Same that as doesn't you. Doesn't make a difference. What? Wait, why? I've heard, I've seen him working and watching. He's done it before. Oh, oh working and I'm watching. Might be. This fasting has gotten out of control. Wow. No. 
Mike B literally has the best surgery Facebook post I've ever seen in quite some time. Post surgery. Yeah, um, right. So we can attack with everything they block here. Five. And block here. They take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot. I say go for it. So block here, block here. That's fine, right? If they don't block, they die, right? No. No. <laughs> can they crack back for leaf? No. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, not quite. I like Michael trying to figure everything out. Well, I'm trying to catch up, okay? Well, that's good. I don't play right anymore. Get over it. Get over it? You just keep getting asked about it. I don't think that, I mean, like, I don't think they're not over it. I just think they were curious. Well. Oh, you're not, he's not talking about raids, Steve, but he's talking about stream raiders, which is what we're playing over oh. here. Oh. Oh, look, the exact block I said they'd make. I don't know what that is that you just showed me. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they put two counters, so we we actually could be dead. <coughs> yeah, it's close. This this is not a guy I meant to attack with. That was an accident. Yeah, there's no real reason to get in that one extra damage there. No, it was an accident because I was distracted. See, yellow's too close to green, I guess. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, that was. If that costs us, I'm gonna feel real stupid because it's just like an extra five damage, seven damage that we'd be taking. I'm tanking though, so. What cube is this? Good luck with this cube. I'm resigned to having no idea what's happening anymore. It's called the proliferate cube. I'm not a huge fan of it yet. I take it it has to do with counters. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you that idea. I don't know. Well, you'll figure it out one day. I believe in you. Taking what you're giving because you're working for a living. Oh, working for a living. You know that song? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Wish my neck didn't have a hole in it. Why? It hurts. Did you say anything? No. I took some in the morning. I actually went downstairs to take some mm. and grab... Uh, rubbing alcohol, but I forgot to grab the Tylenol, so. Or it's the other one. What's the other one? Tylenol? The other amateur one? hour over here. What's the other one? The it other doesn't one? matter. We know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I mean. Advil? Is that what it's called? Ibuprofen, Michael? Ibuprofen, that's the one. Probably some up here, I imagine, right? No, I don't have any medicine up here, man. We don't keep it up here. Fuck, where do you keep it? We keep it in our cars. I'm going to go find some in your bathroom, because that's probably where it is. Wow. Because I really need to take some. Michael's just going to go take my medicine. Yeah, you're right. If you need some replacements, my bottle is literally like a million. So. His bottle's a million? There's like literally a thousand pills in that thing. Literally a thousand? Yeah. Well, at least a couple hundred. And that's not an exaggeration. It sounds like an exaggeration the, to me. The big tip jar. T -t -t Today, Junior! Well, this guy's not dead yet. Oh, yes he is. I'm thinking of fading. Which is, you know, similar but different to vanishing, I guess. Whoa, whoa, working for a living. So, if we go Nissa counters on everything, we have four creatures. Hmm. Pretty sure you shouldn't keep pills in your car. That you can, well, believe it or not, we actually don't keep our medicine in the car. That was just a joke. All right, let's pass. If we draw land, we can play both of these, which is pretty good. That's what we're trying to do. But I, I don't know if we're going to draw uh, a, a six land by turn nine. That seems a little bit ambitious. Guys, Michael B came back. We thought he was gone forever, but now he's back. I'm not my father. What? I'm not my father. 
I'm not my father. Is our battle ready yet for fucking sake? Yeah, oh, it's been... No, it's better than four minutes. Dang. Those pills could change my effectiveness. What does that even mean? So yeah, if we go Flesh Carver Nissa, put counters on everything and then attack, like, everything doubling the counter seems good, right? <laughs> but this guy's probably dead. There's no way this guy survives one whole turn, right? Eh? If he do, though, that good. Yeah, but now they're just going to play this guy, put 1-1 one -one counters on all their things. That Grant Trample. It's not terrible, I guess. We can just try to survive. I don't know if we're dead. They have two, two mana and two cards left still. Come on, Nissa with the counters, I bet. So the steak pack I bought, for the four pack, it was close to expiring, like, you know, sale date. Yeah. So it was literally like half the price. Like they were 47, they were down to like 21 something. Michael, you're a... Meat bargain explorer. A meat, you're a meat bargain explorer. <laughs> I was kind of coming up with something better, but it didn't really work out. Okay, this is actually fine if this is all they're doing. I feel like oh, we look fancy. This. Now they can tap for triple mana. You're right. Unless their last card's like Swords or Path. 6-6, six, six, you got it. Did you have Trample? Four, which is kind of not good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The problem is they can block all our creatures. And Oh, this guy has Trample. This is 8. And this guy's going to be like a billion. Oh, actually, it's going to be 10. So they're going to have to put, like, block, 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 block. They take... They're going to have to put at least 6 in front of this. How much are you tagging for? Uh, just, let me think. Okay. I'm literally... <laughs> I'm trying to do math, Michael. You can see what they're attacking for. It's right on the board. It's going to be 10. So they have to put at least 6 in front of it to survive. So 4, 2. And then they have 3 more guys, but then they don't die. <sighs> Don't love it. <sighs> so close and so far. Stop. never evolving again it's 4-4 four, four. when it attacks it double the number of 1-1 one, one counters on each creature you control <coughs> yes I have played Among Us and on stream um, it's pretty slapping this guy goes to a 5-5 five, five, thanks to Nissa doubles goes to a 10-10 ten, ten. okay like they just put 3-4 and 1-2 in front of it they take 4 they go to one, and then we have four other creatures that don't have trample. And they can throw three of them in front. One, two. They can actually put the two, three, fours in front, absorb eight, take two. Actually, I think we just take it. I think we might actually be able to win here. If these were three threes, I think they're going to be two twos. No, they're going to be four fours. No, they're going to be three threes, which is still fine. Well, actually, I think blocking no, this blocking we just there win here. doesn't change anything. Well, we win, so it doesn't matter. I was saying, what I mean is, like, we're either going to well, win this turn. Well, we win, so it doesn't matter. We're going to win this turn or just Mind lose we this win. turn. Okay, I need okay, to stop. I want to make my point, you son of a bitch! Yeah, so even if they block with their two biggest creatures here, they still take two, and at least one of the three tough three power creatures gets through. If As long as I didn't do math incorrectly which I do not think I did yeah real sad if you so they're trampling over for two and, and then one of the three threes gets through yep alright cool whoa, whoa. yeah they're like just dead facing. exactly this is what's known as exactsies feels good to get exactsies you know it does it's satisfying you're like like when you create it it's just like well, they're a negative million whatever I don't gotta do the math <laughs> but when it's exactsies you're like but then again, Amazing. Crater Roof is literally in every one of my commander decks so far, so... Well, that's a good card. Did you know that? It's pretty good. Did you know that it was Even good? when you, three of your opponents have 40 life, it still doesn't matter. 
I'm, I think Fault Surge is unimpressive, but it's like, it's still a, a one one that you can put counters on. A couple of counters, it gets pretty brutal, too. I think it was a 3 3, that's a lot of life. He's right. I imagine this cube would be very combat centric. I mean, in the sense that, like, all your, like, either they have one big flyer that you can't deal with or they have a bunch of big creatures that you can't deal with because they have counters on them. Well, I mean, it's like, I doubt this is really, like, a, a spell or a, a sorceries and instance kind of format, you know what I mean? Like, there's not a lot of combos. No, there's not a, well, there's a bunch of combos, yes. Oh, sure. Just counter, just yeah, there's, like, persist combos and stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. That's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like, oh, persist, put a counter on it. Oh, I have to go persist again. Hey, little boy, I'll look at you, but I can't move my neck, so... Michael can't move his neck, so I was like trying to spray him with water yesterday. And but you mean trying? You mean successfully? I was successfully hit me right in the with... neck where my bandage is. Right where my band, my neck bandage is. I'm gonna pet you though, because you're very cute, and I can tell which one you are because of the roughness of your <laughs> coat. The roughness of your coat. I wish I had a two drop here that was an ordeal of Nylia. Oh, oh, malaria must be the nuts in this cube. It's fine. There's not that many. There's not that many things to put negative one, negative one counters on things. Mike had surgery. Uh, very simple surgery, but yes, I, there was a cyst on the back of my neck that I'd had for a very long time, like probably 10 years. And then recently it started bothering me for about a week, so I went and had it removed. Yeah, like you can doctor. tell because I actually have malaria in the sideboard. The system is down. Oh, I was thinking malaria is something else. Did you pop it? No, he went to the doctor, like he said. No. It was like, not something I can do on my own. At least not very safe. Lee. Is it Fleshy Boy into Basri's Lieutenant? Or is it Renegade Crassus into Bas... Actually, it's gotta be Crassus here, right? I just had... I think they took off a little more than the cyst mutual out. I just had the exact same cyst, but on the front of my neck. You guys had the same cyst? They went from your body to his body? That's crazy, man. That's crazy, dude. How did you even... How? How did you even? See, like, now this guy's oh, wow. just bananas. I think they took a little more than assist, like, your whole body mutual. Wow. Cool. Like, so this guy, a two-drop? Mm -hmm. Well, now they have a... Oh, that guy doubles counters, yeah. right? Cool. Yeah, so now it's a 6-5, so that's, yeah, that's totally cool. That's definitely easy to deal with on turn yep. four. I'm enjoying it. Or turn three. Well, I'm having a good time. I mean, this would be great. Reflection. We don't have another black yet. What'd oh. you say to me? Yeah, you don't got another black. That's unfortunate. Does that make us cis sisters? Oh, God. I wish that sentence didn't exist. <laughs> cis sisters. Oh, good Lord. Man, your chat slaps. Nothing but bangers. Banger backwalkers, would you say? Yeah. Sis Sisters is my least favorite modern day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you guys like this? Also, it's like you want to kill a 6 5, but if you don't kill this 2 drop, it's probably just going to get real out of hand. Oh, good. Skyclave Apparition. I don't know what that does, but I bet it's going to get a, a lot fucking, of counters. It's a, it's a field. No, it's a field thing. Field. It steals a dude. Oh. So, yeah, I get you. It's a O-ring. Yeah, got it. This seems fine. Yeah, all right, cool. I feel like your board is much worse now, but that's okay. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually, because I don't have another land, so... All right, that is sick. Like that. Flesh car. Oh, and you can't even, like, play Dragon Pump? No, I can't do anything. Man, I have missed lands cool, every man. single game, dude. It's so fun. Yep, that guy's cool. Horn refuse. Put a counter on this guy. That'd be that'd be great. There you go. Now it's a four four. Sweet. Oh, hmm. That's cool. But it was not cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice. -y. Sweet 2-2, two, two, bro. But it was not a sweet 2-2. Two, two. <coughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm not reading that. I'm disgusting. I can't be bothered to read it. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm too busy. 
Green, green. Play this guy. Dig in what you get. Oh, there he is. There's the old Super Fritz. You gotta stop with the green and yellow shirts. They don't work, man. <laughs> I mean, it's a banana shirt. You gotta have... And it's still pretty epic, and I'll wear it elsewhere, but... Yeah, mess around with the floppy. We're at 16. We're at safe life total. I'm going to just put this on here and just get in there. Get him. All right. Next time we have six, Deep Forest Hermit should keep us alive for a little bit, but if they have any more... Oh, God. Fucking amazing. Are you serious? That card's, like, insane in this format. Wow. Sweet cube. This, this... So, okay. 886688. Eight, eight. Mm, sounds good. Yeah, that's beautiful. Totally, totally cool format. Absolutely amazing. Yep. Cool. And you can play Hermit to keep yourself alive, but... <coughs> I mean, that's literally what I have to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess if you're Hermit into Affliction, maybe there's a slight chance you can get back. We don't have Affliction. We don't have double black still. I said, uh, I meant like... In, next turn? Next turn, yeah, yeah, if you draw a black I mean, source. Maybe. Even then, you're not really ahead, you're just kind of surviving. Five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not It's not great. Well, I mean, we're, we get to kill a Johnny here, which is something, I guess. Yeah, we're also at two, so you have to, yeah, I guess that still works. This is five This is five. Oh, they creatures. have Vigilance. That's, you actually don't get to kill a Johnny, right? Yes, that's not how Intimidate works. Oh. Our cards have text. Go. I didn't know that guy had Intimidate. I'm not really familiar with that card at all. But it says it on the card. You just read it. Well, <laughs> reading Intimidate from here is actually kind of hard. It's the first line on the card. I could, I could say Maniminate. I don't know. Oh, you're right. It probably does say Maniminate. I mean, it's really common for cards to say Maniminate. That's one of the most common key words. Yeah, the common keyword. What are it's those like... called? Keywords? Not keywords. Are you talking right now? What are you saying? What is it called? What is it called? <laughs> Evergreen mechanic? There you go. Maniminate. Jimmy Mike. Uh, Jimmy Mike. I, Jimmy. Read, I heard Jimmy's name, but then oh, I heard this Jimmy. part of the sentence, so I said Jimmy Mike. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, you know, work was pretty decent. Nothing uh, crazy. It was pretty slow for the most part. I still don't know why they offer overtime on Saturdays, considering how slow it is, but I'll keep taking it. Cool. Got some 10 tens up in here. Nice. I definitely should have kept a bull. I guess if we did that, we would have. This is an 8 8. We get a 4 4 back. <sighs> yeah, I think you had to block like that. It's not great. No. It's actually terrible. If they have any removal for this guy, it's just. I guess if they did, if they. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I think this is still the best block you have. Something that have with some stupid trick in their hand. Oh, my creatures get plus 2, plus 2, and try a bull. Yep, here we go. Yep. Cool. Well, that is unfortunate. Never don't have what you need. And I take the one token, yep. No, they took this guy, so now they can kill all four of the tokens. I guess it. I oh, because they. Yeah, they lose way. the power. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> power dead. Oh, boy. Yep, and the funny thing is, like, we can't cast any of the. We can only cast one card. We can cast Nissa, make a second token to block. And, f f yeah, just. This this cube has actually been horrendous. Agreed. Your opponents either <laughs> you played like one game. Well, one game's enough. Okay. All right. Well, let's try to one two another another proliferate cube. Like it's weird because the mechanics in this cube are like, oh well, you know they made their guy an eight eight and a six six, so you actually have to have removal for every creature. But there's not enough removal in the cube because it's too based on like counters. Yeah. There's not enough answers and too many threats. A lot of a lot of like the unbalanced cubes have that problem. It seems like all the fun cubes they do that aren't like vintage, modern, or legacy have that problem.
As an old school edge player, I must say that Vintage Cube never disappointed me. Yeah, Vintage Cube is great. And then the reason Vintage Cube is great is there's a perfect balance of like answers and threats, right? Like I feel Game's like even if over. Yeah, if even if I'm I'm way behind, I can still top deck a thing that gets me back in the game, whether it's like Ancestral Recall, Demonic Tutor, Swords to Plowshares, like there's tons of things to do. Whereas like cubes like this that just feel like kind of regular drafts, except your opponent opens bombs. Like that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it feels like a regular draft where your opponent just happened to open bombs. And like if you don't draft the correct like you gotta draw them too, draft and draw the correct combination of also strong cards, like cool. <laughs> sure. There are a few scenarios in the vintage cube where it's kind of unfair and there's not much you can do, like like turn one tinker into blight steel or like turn one but you can still deal with that. You still have like source supply shares. You still have repeat, like bounce spells into the royal. You still have channel emerald is pretty hard to beat on turn two. Oh, I agree. Rough. But like, but there are counter. You're playing the vintage so cube. You could have a force of will or a like you have an equal chance of drafting a similar combo. Whereas like in this in this queue, I feel like you're just outclassed pretty easily. I mean, this is a four-four on turn two, which is or on turn three, which is pretty. That's I, pretty beady. I feel like it's pretty decent. You can tag it for four on turn three, yeah, that's pretty good. Well, now they can just double block it, so that's unfortunate. Not if you. Oh wow, they're just attacking. Somehow leveled up a lot. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess if I level it up a lot. Watson's making some some grumblers. Some grumblers. You're gonna block with me. Do, 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 do. Block with me. I'm gonna scry. You got it. She gets a counter. He gets a counter. He gets a counter. He they does. all get no, counters. Do, In Vintage Cube, both players have their shining moments. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that completely. I think it's I think it's well balanced. What'd you say? What'd you say? Who knows, man? Well, I hope you did. I don't remember. You literally don't remember? It was like one second it ago. It was irrelevant. Don't worry about it. Oh, I think I said... <laughs> no, they don't. Oh, God. But I could be wrong. Oh, boy. Play the tape. Someone play the tape. No, don't. It's not worth it. Don't clip that. What's that smell? You grilling already? No, but it smells like someone is. It does smell like someone is. It's kind of Or nice. there's just a random fire in the state that's we're smelling. That could also be every other day. That doesn't have the barbecue smell, though, you know? Sometimes it does. It smells more ashy. I smell the barbecue once. Oh, Liliana. Liliana's. Liliunu. Shouldn't laugh at that, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. All right. We're going to do some grilling tonight, Jimmy. Make some steaks, some gonna, chicken. Go to grill, Jimmy. Put on the cab. Green beans. What do you think? Do you think they block with both of these? And then I get to kill one? And then I get to... Oh, this is a sorcery? Yeah. That would have not worked out well. It's not as good. I mean, it does awaken, but meh. I still prefer straight up murder. Wake me up inside! Murder? Yeah. Murder, murder. just kills a creature. Right, why but it's you, instant. Why wouldn't you want Hero's Downfall? I, I guess if we're taking the best of the pie. Well, yeah. Why, why would we take the worst situation doesn't matter because it's just creatures. There's no planeswalkers. So murder would do just fine. Murder in a pinch, you know? You don't always got to have a downfall. <laughs> Shut up. Stupid murder in a pinch. Wake me up in size. Two five? God, that dude's humongous. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any starches. Starch? We're mashed potatoes. Oh, right. We're making the potatoes. I forgot. My bad. <sighs> the instant potatoes. I feel like Michael would forget his head if he wasn't attached. You know that saying? Yes, I've heard that saying before. That's you. Because it's very common. So it'd be weird if I went through life not hearing that, that saying. You'd be weird if you were. You'd be weird if you were. That's true.
I felt so weird being in the grocery store with this bandage like kind of hanging off my neck. <laughs> Someone saw me, they're like, "That guy is, just got out of the insane asylum." Do you think they put bandages on like, people's necks homeless. when they leave the insane asylum? No, but it, I don't know. It just looks weird. It's a weird thing. Huh? Oh wow. Gambit must be pretty in this cube. It must be. It's pretty. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Looks like it's time for a ruinous path. You can't grill sir strumming, okay? It would fall apart. Maybe you can't. I think we just got to Liliana. Yeah. Wake me up inside. Call my name and save me from Mike B. I can't wake up. I guess level is three. That's so expensive. Yeah, I know. Guess I'll die. So if we attack with this guy, they just block here. Yeah, all right. Shouldn't have evasion of some sort. Jesus, you suck. What does she do besides lifelink and get counters? When she dies, you get one ones equal to her power. Ah. She's like a super aftermath or life or whatever that mechanic's called. The one where you get the little ghosties. Also, my neck smells like the hospital. Your neck smells like the hospital? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, I couldn't wash it. Why not? Because you're supposed to not put water on it for like 24 to 48. Maybe you're not. No, that's what they recommended. Maybe you recommended that. Why would I recommend that? I'm not a doctor. I don't know what you do, Michael, <laughs> in your spare time. Tell that piece of shit. <laughs> when it, it, I'm reading it. Okay. Huh. Weird. Weird. What happened to your neck? Well, as you can see, I got it surgically removed with most of my body. I'm a ray man now. You're a rain man? A ray man. A ray man? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? The video game character, Ray Man? You're Ray Man? Yeah, he's like. Everybody loves Ray Man? <laughs> Do you not know about Ray Man? Uh, I think it was Dreamcast when it started. Just a super platformer, but he has no. He has like a body and hands and feet and a head, but he has no like neck or arms or legs. I have no legs. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Why doesn't this have protection from monocolor? I'd be fucking crushing right now. Does it multicolor? So I can put on her, she gets up she wants a four four. So she would get to eat something and then make four one ones and I would get to search this for something. Seems some really lands. good actually. Seems like a banger. Does it though? Yes. Why? Because they either block, if they don't, you gain four and they take four. If they do block and kill it, you get four flyers, which are really good in this They're format. They're not flying. They're just one-one life. They're just one-one vampires. That's much worse. Vampires don't all fly, apparently, in Magic. Well, that's shit. That yeah. makes it way less good. Don't do that. I know. I thought they floated. I thought it made just. I like should have kept the black up. I'm not smart. Also, it turns out when you have a, an open wound on your neck, when you try to sleep, you tend to touch a lot, so it wakes you up a bunch. <laughs> so even though I technically was asleep for like eight hours, it was really like closer to five. Why don't you try closing the wound, Michael? Did you ever think about that? I don't have that capability. Capability. <laughs> Why did they say frowny face? Oh, that was like four minutes ago. Well, because I killed... Wait, why? I don't understand. Oh, because I cast Ruinous Path? That's it? I'm sorry that I killed your overpowered permanent when you're doing just fine fucking chump okay wow you don't have to be you have to be criticizing people michael well i'm gonna you can't stop me i wouldn't even dream of it no they're not actually supposed to stitch it up because like the inside has to like heal because it's such an open wound so it actually has to be 
guys it's put, such an open wound they have to put a packing in it and have it like bandaged for a few days and then they have to sew it up after so it doesn't get infected basically. I have no cards in hand actually so maybe we just pump this guy again alright I'm gonna proliferate I'll put a soul coffin counter and a squiggly counter on my wormy boy it's not a worm it's not a squiggly counter this is all wrong you don't know what you don't know how big was it uh, she probably said. A about, a, about as wide as a quarter. Gross. And about as big as a marble. So it's pretty pretty large. It seems like the perfect foil for my Alendra. Stop with all the medical mumbo jumbo. Give it to me in plain English, Doc. Yikes. Put put a quarter in it. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> The slit is not a quarter wide, just to be clear. No. You know what? This guy's unbeatable now. Like, here's the thing. This guy has menace, so we have to block it with two creatures. When they proliferate, they can give my creature negative one, negative one, and then another counter, so negative two, negative two. They can put another counter on both of these. So this is an 8-11. Five. Yeah, this is an 8-11, and we would get negative two for our guys. So, like, we literally have to, like, quad block it. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> like they, this, this game is like this. This cube is literally about like one creature being ex insanely larger than everything else, and you just being unable to deal with it. Because you only you're lucky if you have two removal spells in your whole deck. Wake me up inside. God, my name. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. <laughs> it's too bad, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna pass, I guess. Yeah, I don't really know how you beat that. No, I don't. Who are you hitting? Glenny? Alendrario? Rather make a 2 2 and 2 1 1s than have you like proliferate onto this next turn. Oh, 3 1 1s because she was a 3 3. Vampire is white. <laughs> Do they really need to put that? <laughs> it's, it's very clear. Like, what color is that vampire? Oh, it could it be gold. Is it like, why isn't that? Why isn't the the soldier token? How do I know white? what color the soldier yeah, right. is? <laughs> Fucking. Man. What color is the zombie? I don't know. Whoever, they designed this thing in like a shed <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> oh god. Oh, here we go. Look, it's nine twelve. I guess I'll just block with two vampire zombos. Is there any chance that we can kill this thing? Seven. Not unless you somehow get your Runa's path back. So it's going to be an 11-13. Wow, I'm really glad we don't have uh, Malicious Affliction in here because it's non-black. 11-13. Uh, so we have to do 7, 8, 9, 10. It's definitely possible if they don't have anything else. Kind of feels almost necessary. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Remember they can proliferate. Right, that's why I'm going for thirteen. Wait, no. Nine, twelve, so it would be an eleven, fourteen. Jesus. Is that all? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's got to be this guy, right? Because then we can sack something else. Call my name in 
save me from Max. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 14 right now. So they have to. And also, it only deals 9 back right now. So it only kills one thing. You got it. Boop, boop, boop. Was it equipped for one? Of course it does. Of course it does. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, so you're going to deal 11, so you're dealing 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're killing those two. That's actually not bad. Or we can sack the lieutenant, make this a 6-6. Six, six. Nope, but then we don't have enough. Yeah, don't drop the ball. What? Don't drop the ball. <laughs> don't drop the ball. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 14, right? This is going to kill it. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not, like, going crazy. And we get a 2-2. Two, two. Sure. All right. Not terrible, but without an answer to the side, like, they'll, like, I'll just give anybody I want plus 6, plus 6. Yeah, but the downside is, like, they have to sack it when on their upkeep or whatever? No, they don't. How does that card work? It literally just gives them plus 6, plus 6. Like, that's it. <laughs> Oh, just whenever they die, they get an extra counter. I got it. So or whenever they break. proliferate. Right. Yeah, even any one one is a threat. Duh. Well, at least you can single block now. Maybe you can. What? Huh? What? 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 Why are you being like this? I should have played land. I should have been born on a Tuesday. But here we are. Okay. That's fine. This is a weird block. Well, they get to escape it next turn, but I, I probably still would have blocked with the soul shitter. <laughs> the soul shitter. Because if they block with this, we have to sack one to make it a 7-7. Seven, seven. They can sack a guy to make it a 9-9. Nine, nine. Then we sack another guy to make ours a 9-9. Nine, nine. And then they sack, like, one more shitty guy. Theirs is on 11-11. <clears throat> we didn't have the mana to make ours that big. So then they just have this huge, like... 7-7 seven, seven on board. Your dad's straight back from the store, but yet here we are. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, I guess we have to block this to get in. One, two, three, four, five. Six. No, none of the blocks matter because of the stupid friggin' Karn's Bastion. Sure, we'll block like this. They escaped that guy just like we thought they would if we have a removal for this we basically just win the game right that's not that's not it they do have to block here though look at that big ass goat y'all ever seen a big ass goat before <laughs> y'all ever seen a goat that big no Oh yeah, eat him. You gonna sack your goat in response? You wanna scry? How badly do you wanna scry? Oh, real badly, apparently. 
Huh. I actually feel like we're doing fine, which is super interesting to me. That does not seem worth scrying. I don't think it was a 6-7. I mean, sure, you get an extra counter on your thing, but whatever. An extra counter on your thing, but whatever. This guy can't sacrifice himself, unfortunately, so we can't make our XX horror creature. Alright, they're paying costs. Oh, wow. Mm, might as well. He got Intimidate. But does he have... Bajiminate? Yes. That's cool. I know. Don't play a black creature. Oh, you did, and it's a hex mage. Fantastic. Cool. That's uh, well, like the perfect draw. Yeah, last, yeah, the perfect draw. Wow, that's great. Wow, cool. Yay! 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 Cool. I have a two-two. Amazing. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ is right. <laughs> yep, having a good time. Having a good time. Making a one one. Making a one one. Guess we're just starting over. <laughs> Try again. Next turn we're going to draw Deep Forest Hermit, and we're going to have infinite blockers, and it's going to be satisfying. Oh, that's... Annoying, but... It's a, it's a creature you control dies, and I don't think we're killing any of your creatures anytime soon, so... Oh, that's a good 10-10. Does he have haste? No. This is going to make it unblockable somehow and kill you. I know they have no cards in hand, but they'll do it. Did they just sack it? That's weird. Yep, you got it. 13, 13. What's your big plan here? Block. Let's do the let's do the old block arena. Actually, maybe I just block this guy and go to three. Doesn't that thing deal you damage? Doesn't what thing deal you damage? That enchantment. Yeah, if a creature they control dies, it just it drains for one. So they can sack creatures whenever they want, though. They have one creature. Okay. <laughs> I mean, dude, if they if they've drawn three creatures, that means four turns have gone by. Meanwhile, I'm dead to this if I don't have a blocker next turn. So. And they have no cards in hand, so, like, I mean... Sweet. That's really frustrating. Four, nine, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. I mean, say what you will, two, drawing two extra lands than your opponent is a big fucking deal. I mean, they're just going to proliferate. No, they can't proliferate this turn. So this is only going to be an 8-8, eight, eight, so we can actually block here, block here. But we have to block both now or else we die. I was just kind of assuming that we'd have a counter this turn, or a, a, a card to play this turn. But... That was that was actually fairly ambitious of me. Frank and the man who hates paper towel webcam holders. Yeah, that's not a thing. It's a thing. You're just being a little biscuit about it, Michael. Okay.
Can you proliferate on my guys too? That would be cool. Don't think he's gonna. I don't think so either. Okay, so they just sacked it. Sure. So we take one. Okay. What? We just draw? <gasps> oh! Okay. Okay. Things, Things are, are happening. Good. I mean, you are dead if you play as a creature. So there's that. All right, attack a creature. Put X one on counters on Vish for X is attack a creature's power. Attack a creature gets a negative one, negative one. Yeah, you can attack things to put counters on them, then you can remove them all to kill something. I don't have life though. Yeah, you just have to dodge a creature. That seems incredibly on. Wait, nine, ten, eleven, so twelve, sack thirteen. It. You can sack itself, right? I can literally put them to one here. That's hilarious. What's going on over there? These hunters just being a. His tail is slapping things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four. So this is, we're one shy. You can fade one turn. You're definitely good because if you ever get in with that guy, you're definitely winning. Because it'll be a big boy with lifelink. But Hunter, stop! Stop! <laughs> it's so annoying, dude. I'm I trying to like seriously to trying to figure out how to not lose this game. If you'd attack last turn, you'd have him dead. Yeah, but then I'd also be dead because I wouldn't have had a blocker. So, <laughs> like, uh. man, chat lethal is the best. Why didn't I attack there when I was at two and they had a twelve, twelve, and a seven, seven, and I had one blocker? Oh, you're talking about with the with the two two vigilance guy? I don't know because there's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's called an accident. We don't have enough mana to play this, this, and sack. Wait, well, I mean, we can sack this, but that doesn't, what does that do? It doesn't do anything. Because yeah, if we can kill that, though, that means he doesn't have a sack alley, right? How do we kill 12-12? Wait, um, wait. No, we can. Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we can do that, actually. Yeah, do that then. Then at least he has to have another way to kill a creature. Well, yeah, and we get a nine, nine from this guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. All right, guys, we get it. We didn't swing the Vigilance token. Jesus yeah, it's Christ. kind of it's kind of silly. Like, why didn't you do the exact perfect play every single time? Well, this that is... That I've deduced after seven <laughs> minutes after it's happened. Right, like, it's very distracting. I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's very distracting to stream and commentate and play perfect games of magic even without all that it's hard to play perfect games of magic agreed our battle is ready okay so this is a 10-10 now so we have to sack sack yeah you have to have enough counters to kill it I think that's how it works right yeah. Unfortunately, you have to remove all of them. Yeah, but there's no other choice. Can't let the thing be on the board. You played the wrong creature two days ago. I like when people ask, like, why didn't you attack? Well, because I just forgot. Like, it just happens. Like, it's also a 15 15 now. Well, it ain't gonna be because you have to remove all the counters. So. Okay, Michael, I get it. Yeah, I feel like if you untap, you might actually win, though. It was pretty hard to beat that vampire dude. <sighs> All right. The next thing you just, like, sack it, kills other block. Oh, like, I mean, uh, both our creatures are lethal right now, and that's the only thing they care about. They have to have literally a sack. Why would they sack it? Like, just let it die, man. It's so silly. Like, maybe just, they think it, like, has... This guy doesn't come back, right? No, that guy doesn't come back for a while. Reanimate vampire hex mage sacrifices. I win. Good <laughs> oh, you, oh yeah, my nice. god, dude! Jesus, claw and nail, tooth and nail. Whew! Someone in my commander group plays a Vishka all the time. He's a bastard. Well, I mean, he does cost like eight mana to play, so or seven. I don't know, man. I feel like there's much more cutthroat things you can do in commander.
Valorous stance actually seems pretty decent. What did you say? It's Dees? I didn't say he was good. He's just a bastard. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> you just don't like it? That's fine. I got I don't take stupid servant out. You, you suck. I don't even think I like Draga Tree Spear. It just almost feels too slow in this format. Also, I feel like you're never missing green. You're missing the other colors. I'm take cast out. I'm bring cast out in. I think cast out's just a better card here. Oh, Steelbane Hydra, actually. Dang it. I should have brought the Hydra in. You stupid, stupid fool. I'm going to keep this hand because we just have things to do. you have, to, like, mana? All, yeah, all my lands and things to do. Oh, a Fume Spitter. More like a Buffoon Splitter. Why well, no Ghouls draws Assassin? That card is ridiculous, I am a... I think it was fine. It was just too slow. You're disgusting. I know it. This school sting? I know it was one of these. That's a pretty good draw. I'd prefer a two drop that I can put on the board. Yeah, he's only got a one one. I think he can live a little longer. Right, but now they play a thing and then we don't have anything on the board. So the point is you get in front of the things that they are going to play. What if they don't, though? Well, they did. Oh, dang so. it, they did. Dang it, dang it, dang it, Bobby. I mean, I don't want to live, I don't want to play my games of Magic hoping that they don't do the normal thing in Magic. It's not really the best strategy. It is when it works. No. Let's make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, she goes to 4. That should be fine. Actually, it's probably terrible. No, this is pretty bad, actually, because they Fume Spitter kill this, equip the Blood Gas, make it a 4-1, and then kill our Nyssa. Oh, that's a Blood Gas. Yep. Boy, they didn't waste any time doing that. Oh, or they just play Price of Betrayal instead of the onboard removal. Like, what? Sure. I mean, we're just blocking this. Opponent does have two cards in hand. That's actually pretty decent. Sure. You got it. Because it's a you, babe. Michael B is in the trash can every day. <laughs> this is my favorite song. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna play th multiple things here. We're definitely putting this on, on your boy. And now the question is whether we. Oh, he's got vigilance too. Ah, damn. He got the vig. Ah, damn. Bobby. And you get to prolif. That's fine. We're just going to play first game as Rose here and make a 1-1. One, one. I feel like we're doing alright here, which is su surprising. They have one card in hand? Alright, well. Oh. That's a good one to have, I guess. Yep. Well, we do have a Ruinous Path, so that's a thing. Not taking eight here. Silvok Schmouchmast. Let's get them lands. 
black green seems fine One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I think we definitely have to kill this or else they go ham on us. Also, oh, it's a flying lifelinker, so that's kind of a. Well, yes, and they give it plus five, plus five. Here, Bane Slayers are good. That's what I hear. Bane Slayers, pretty good. You'd be really greedy to get the Awaken. Nope, need double black here. So we can get black, black, green. Yeah, that's all we can do. All right. I think you're doing alright. I think you're doing alright. Don't pick the wrong one. Wait, we can't awaken? What are you talking about? I said if you waited a turn because you'd have another Yeah, I don't really want to take a thousand damage. No, it would be terrible. Hand. I'm just saying you could do it. This is also a 910? Jesus. A 910 Jesus? <laughs> This creature is going to be indestructible. Sure. So don't. Don't want to trade with them. Well, I can't trade with them. It's not even possible, Michael. They have no cards in hand? All right, I'll block here and take two. Oof. Using that as not an instance is also really weird. Like, you didn't really gain any. Like, you gain counters, I guess, but... Um. Hmm. We have five minutes to their six or eleven or twelve. Jesus, we really need to. Ah. Uh, how much we can? Can we one two? We can play everything, right? One two double green. Just play the old guy first. Double green. <laughs> Two lands. Yep. Man, this guy's a ten eleven. That like seems good. Yep, that's fine. We get a gold next turn from the first Iros games. A gold. <laughs> that was a good gold member. A gold. Oh, that was a good draw. Yep, loving it. I mean, it gets one extra line out of your deck. Oh, super cool, man. You're right. What was I thinking? Well, this guy's a 7-7 seven, seven now, so they still can't profitably... At Oh, they just want to. They that's this one. One is worse than the other one. One when one of them gets you a counter on your soul scythe. Man, those full art fetches are sweet, buddy. I know, buddy. I'm gonna teach, buddy. I'm gonna get a land out of my deck. You ready? Okay. See again, like the the whole match came down to me having a ten eleven that they just have to deal with, and, and if they can't, can, they lose. So it's no well, game's not over yet. No, it's... Oh, that's it's, a good draw. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Just get rid of their stupid equipment. Yeah. Is the only thing that's got them in this game at all? Agreed. Now we can alpha with literally no consequences. Alpha! Oh, yeah. Proliferate at first. <laughs> oh, yeah, big tip. A lot of people just why waste you, time like that. No, I understand proliferating the other guys, but why would you proliferate... The, that's my point. Like, you're just... Like an artifact. Um, yeah. This, they're going to have to chump block here. Yeah, they did. Yep. They got any wraths? If they block Storm. here, they take four, five, six, seven, eight. They no, they go. Uh, they take nine. They go to one. Sure. Interesting. One and two ain't a lot. No. Nether trader. That thing is a shit lord. You got it. All right, one, two again. <laughs> can't. I can't endorse this cube yet. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of it. It seems very random and and swingy and not balanced. But 
I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just haven't discovered the the, the secret yet, and I'll admit that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Mandatraders.com. Link and promo code down below for 15% off the first three months. Uh, you can also check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. You get 68% off to your subscription along with one month free. That's a great deal and a great way to support the channel. And uh, I'll see you next time, and maybe we'll be a little less blue. So, see you later. <laughs>